Hey student, this is the week eight, uh, week eight uh, lab. Uh, in this case, is building an atom. So we can just click here in the simulation. And now, when you click in the simulation, we can click here. We have different choices. So we can click here in atom. And this is what we have. Here we have the periodic table, you know, with the different elements, right? Uh, here we have uh, the model of the atom, right? We have the electrons, the neutrons, the protons. You know that protons, pr protons and neutrons are gonna go to the nucleus, right? And uh, the electrons are gonna be just around nucleus, right? Uh, moving in the different orbitals. So uh, we can, for example, take a proton here. And when we put a proton, now we have an ion, a positive ion. There is a positive ion of hydrogen, right? We can see the next charge here if we want. It's a next charge of plus one. We can see the mass number. You know, there is one. Uh, now, if we want, we add one neutron. Because in the nucleus, we have the same amount of uh, neutrons and protons. Uh, nothing changed. It's still an ion, you know, with a next charge of one. If now we want, we just pick an electron and we pick an electron. If we put the electron in the outer orbital, the electron is gonna move toward the inner orbital. Why? Because uh, in the hydrogen atom, uh, the uh, electrons, there is only one electron, and this electron is in the uh, inner orbital, right? The inner orbital is able to support just two electrons, so uh, when you have just two electrons, both are gonna be in the inner orbital. And when it's more than one, more than two, then the other electrons are going to the outer orbital. As you see now, the next charge have changed, right, to zero, and the mass number is now two. If now, for example, you add one more proton here, now instead of hydrogen, we have helium. And this an hydrogen, it's a positive ion, right? Uh, so charge is plus one. We can get a neutral atom, just adding one more electron. Now it's a neutral atom. If we add one more electron, now this becomes a negative ion. So it's still helium, but now it's a negative ion. And then you see that the mass number is three, and now the next charge is negative one. So now, instead of hydrogen, we have helium. And like that, you can play with this game. You know, you can play with the game, you can see how you know, with the distribution of the electrons in the different orbital for the different uh, chemical uh, elements, right? Uh, when we have, when we get a positive ion, when we get a negative ion, so it's going to be really, really a funny game and very instructive. So um, I encourage you to follow the instructions and develop the practice.